Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm Chris Chrome and welcome to the Gaming Zone. Today we're going to be covering Dark Souls 3, Fallout 4, and GTA and so much more. Ja! Hey guys, what's up? So Chris here. And you know, welcome to the gaming zone where I cover some top stories of the week. And uh, well, you know, my gameplay this week is Destiny, and I'm gonna be playing a bit of PvP in the Crucible because I'm trying to get Thorn. I got the little bounty for him, so and I gotta beat guys with uh, with, I think the Void weapon, and I think I get my ass kicked in this video pretty bad. So oh, I got such a shitty weapon. I only got like a rare weapon to use to beat these guys and I just get my ass kicked so so yeah it's pretty bad I suck <laughs> anyways so you know let's uh let's get to the stories so we'll start off with Dark Souls 3 oh man I can't believe that shit was announced or by Rooster Teeth or whoever it was. Man, that is awesome. Love Dark Souls. I got Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2. Man, played them all. Oh, man, great. I did a Let's Play in Dark Souls 2 a while back, so you can check that out if you want. Ah, oh, hype. Can't wait for this one. So, anyways, let's get into details about it. So, it's going to be released probably next year. Uh, more will be announced on it at most likely E3. Because, I mean, if they already, um, you know, talked about E3, I'll probably show some shit, whether it's a trailer or whatever. Guaranteed it'll probably come out in March, just like Dark Souls 1 did. So, which will be cool. Cause I'm fine with that. Cause you know what? I, I have Dark Souls 2. I haven't beaten it yet. I'm working on it. So, that'll give me a good enough time to beat it. Um, it's only, but it's only this one is only gonna be released on the Xbox One, PS4, and maybe a PC version. They're in talks of doing PC, but they're not sure yet if they want to. You never know for your PC guys out there. Um, I'm hoping it comes to PC because you know I do play PC myself, and I'm not gonna be like a fanboy of just consoles. So hopefully, you PC guys will get it, which will be cool. So you can mod it, do whatever you want to it, and you can fully enjoy it like the rest of us. But it kind of sucks for the rest of the people who have like just still had the 360 and PS3, and you can't get it. Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn on my phone because I don't want to be disturbed. Okay. Um. Yeah, for the 360 and PS3 people who won't be able to play it, kind of sucks for you guys. But they want to do new things, and you know what? It's almost been. How long's it been? C1. Yeah, it's been almost two years since the con since the new consoles came out. So, come on, guys. Time to get the program. No, <laughs> get that shit on Cyber Monday or something. Black Friday, its own deal. So, anyways, so there's gonna be it's gonna be one to four players. Not sure if that's co-op yet or just PvP. No idea. I'm sure, they'll talk about it at some point. Uh, there'll be 10 different classes to choose from, so I'm assuming the ones they already have now, and maybe, you know, might have some newer ones. Um, there'll be 45 new enemies, uh, including some we might have already seen in the other Dark Souls and Demon Souls, so you never know. Which I'm perfectly fine with, I mean, I find like all the enemies and most of them are really good. So, so anyway, yeah, 45 new enemies, 15 new bosses isn't that bad it's not a bad number 50 new bosses i mean <clears throat> so there might be like 15 different areas to explore um there'll be a lot of new weapons obviously new armor sets um just a whole bunch of new stuff can't wait for that it's gonna be really cool yeah i'm a huge fan of dark soul series and i hope i'm pretty sure like a lot of people are um so far my favorite one is i would say dark souls one um I found Demon Souls was hard as shit. I found it a lot harder than Dark Souls, but 
I mean, the final boss wasn't that hard, but uh, I found it a lot harder. But Dark Souls 1 was, I find it, they got the formula right, and it was good. Like, it was hard, wasn't too easy, you got through it, the bosses were good, and, you know, Dark Souls 2 isn't bad, it looks good, but I find in this one, like, the, the only things, I find the bosses are easier, and, well, so far, like, I'm not even, I'm, I think I'm only about maybe, poor am I, like, halfway through, but then I got all the DLC. So I'm about halfway through, so you never know. Um, the enemies are a lot harder, and well, that's actually about it. But hey, I'm not complaining. I still like the game. I still play it to shit. So I play it every week. But anyways, so that's Dark Souls Three. Hope y'all pump for it, cause I know I, I'm probably gonna get the collector's edition. You know what I was pissed off about? That they didn't release a collector's edition for the PS4 with the stat with the the statue of them and shit. I was like, no, because when it came out on PS3 and Xbox 360, and they had that, I'm like, oh, they're going to come out with it on PS4. They're definitely going to redo it for the PS4, and they did, but they didn't have a collector's edition. I was like, no. I mean, I could just buy it, but whatever. Not a big deal, but I'll know for this one. They have one, I'm going to buy it. All right, so next story. Probably get some heat for this one. All right, Fallout. Four was also announced. Um, it's only going to be on current gen consoles and PC, of course. Uh, it's going to be take place in Boston, and they're going to show off more at E3, obviously. It's Bethesda. They're going to have that fucking Doom. I got more, more hype for that than anything. Um, and it's supposed to be. It might be released this year, which is also a surprise because most companies now, when they fucking uh, announce games like this, it's like, oh, it'll come out sometime next year. I remember Skyrim. It was like, uh, you announced it in January, but it ain't coming out till November or something. Thanks. Gotta wait a whole year for that shit. What the fuck? Why didn't you just wait till E3 to announce it? Like, that, that tension was just killer. Killing me on the inside. So, I don't really have any much more information on it. There's a trailer. You can go check that out. But now, my take on it... Oh, I'm going to get hate on this one. I actually don't like Fallout. <laughs> don't like it. I played the third one. I played Las Vegas. I don't like Fallout. I think it's just a personal choice. Because I like the Elder Scrolls series. I don't like Fallout. I'm more of a fantasy RPG kind of guy than like a futuristic post-apocalyptic kind of guy. I mean, I'd rather play a game with swords and shields and guns. Because I think it's just more enjoyable that way. You can't just... I mean, sure, in the fantasy when you got bow and arrows and shit, but I find it looks cooler than that. And, you know, you have to get close and personal and fight people like, bam, bam, get right in the face. Whereas follow, it's like, you don't actually have to do that. You can just get a snip and just fucking kill everyone like that. And I don't have to worry about that shit. I remember when I played Fallout 3, um, literally, I only upgraded my melee damage. And I had, like, a giant hammer, like, through the whole fucking game. And that's what I did. But, I mean, I played quite a bit of it. I couldn't get into it. I just didn't like it. And I played Las Vegas. I tried different things. I couldn't get into it. I don't know what it is. Not a fan of Fallout. I know that sucks. I know motherfuckers are going to complain. It's like, how you not like Fallout? Blah, blah, blah. It's better than Elder Scrolls. Blah, blah, blah. Look, that's just me. That's just me. I like Elder Scrolls. Except, I'm going to hear for this too. I didn't like Skyrim. <laughs> oh, man. I've enjoyed the older ones. I loved Oblivion. I never played a game as much as that one ever. But, I didn't like Skyrim. Now, I played a lot of hours in it. I even bought a walkthrough book because I knew how big it was going to be. And I completed, like, every guild. I did pretty much every quest. And then after, like, it got to a point where I just put my controller down. And I'm like, I don't like this game. Why am I playing it? And it's mainly because I found a lot of the dungeons looked the same. The dragons were cool, but they were too much of a pain in the ass how they were just like, they were like random 
fucking things that would always find me, but they weren't even a challenge. You got to a point that just were not a challenge. You just kill them, no problem. I mean, I remember one part I managed to fight four dragons. They were, they were, what was it? One of them was chasing me. And I ran up a cliff, and there was another one there. And then it just so happens that there was a quest in that area too. And I think what it was, you opened the door, and a dragon came out. And I fought down one, and then another dragon came in. I fought four of them, and it, it, it wasn't oh, difficult at all. Like, I mean, other than that, like everything else was good about it. I just found the quest kind of sucked, dragons kind of sucked, and dungeons kind of sucked. Yeah, it kind of sucked. But, see, Dark Souls, they do dragon. That is how a dragon should be. That's kind of... Anyways, fuck all motherfuckers yelling me some more. Let's get to the next story. <laughs> Alright. Bam. Alright, so, GT5, a new update is coming soon. Um, It's going to be called the three... I think is what it's called. I might be saying it wrong, I don't know called the three gotten gains update and the first part is coming out june 10th so on wednesday pretty close it's gonna have new heists new cars new clothing new planes shit's gonna be all gold you know for y'all motherfuckers i want to spend a lot of money so that is the first part you know the second part might come out later on during the summer you can have like more expensive cars and mansions and all these other things so if anyone, I mean, a lot of people stay play that. I personally would like to play it. I have it. I don't play it because, you know what? None of my friends, like, really play any video games. They play, like, one or two a year, and that's it. They're not really in the games as much as I am. So it's like, well, I kind of don't want to play alone. So, hey, if any of you guys would like to play GTA, hit me up. i play it. I only got it on PS3, but, you know, I have no problem getting it on PS4 if I had people to play with. You know, and do heists and missions and online shit which would be cool so that's coming out um what else oh i might get this game because it looks fun and i think it'd be cool i am bread is coming to ps4 this summer uh if any of you haven't heard about it which i don't know why i have it but you're basically which are is a piece of bread and you control it with your controller and you just Move the bread across the stage, whether it's a living room or garage or a bathroom or a kitchen, and you gotta cook it. And that's how you beat it. But it's really hard because you can only you gotta grab on the things, they got a stamina bar, and it's all these other things, and it looks really fun to play, uh, especially with a friend. Because a lot of people when they play it, they do like double controls. Like this person will do the grab, and this person will do the jump, or some people have this button about this button it makes it even more funnier and hard to do so i might get i might buy depending how much it is maybe if it's like 10 bucks or something 15 bucks be like okay i'll get it i can do like a gameplay let's play in that shit See how I like it and um uh, yeah so that's coming on the ps4 with this summer watch out for that and last story uh this one i was like okay why not I like Square Enix. Um, it's for Dragon Quest Heroes. They got a release date announced for North America. It's coming out October 13th. And in the UK, October 16th. Um, if any of you haven't heard of Dragon Quest. Now, I, it's been a while since I've actually played one, so I'm not too sure. But I know it's like a turn-based thing, like Final Fantasy. Well, that's what it was. Uh, but it was more like... They had the creatures in front of the screen, and you were like this, like you guys were right here, and then they were like right here, and you would attack like that. But I'm not too. I know they're not like that anymore, but something like that. And I know there's a lot of Dragon Quest fans out there, so I've never played a full one through. I would like to, and I probably will at some point. Anyways, uh, so there's a day one edition getting priced at sixty bucks, a collector's edition at hundred bucks, and now. Okay, so the day one edition will include 11 items that form part of the slime weapon set. I'm sure a lot of people know what that is. Um, see, and you also get a slime plushie, a slime lanyard, a slime keychain, and all be in like this nice little uh, collector treasure chest box. And it looks pretty fresh. It looks really cool. 
Uh, if any of you are into that, I would like actually like to know what you guys think of the Dragon Quests. Uh, like which ones are the best ones? Because I would I would like to play one one day. I just don't know which one to start off with or you know where I should go. I mean, I have no problem starting from like the very first one. As you can tell from my channel, I play like old games too. So I can start from like the first one and just work my way up. But I mean, if there's one that's like the definite one, like you should play this one if you want to get hooked on it or if you know you want to start it. This is the one you should play. You know, I would like to know that. So I can do that shit. Anyways, so that's the gaming zone for this week. Make sure to check out my stories, Dark Souls 3, Fallout 4, GTA 5 update. I am Brit and Dragon Quest Heroes. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and check out some of my videos on the side this side from the camera whatever on the side and down below um yeah so have a good week guys and i'll see y'all next monday peace out Ciao.